Kung Fu, Karate, Capoeira, these have certainly had the share of the spotlight when it comes to martial arts. But we Pinoy's have our own brand of martial arts too. You guys up for something a bit more challenging? I say bring it on. What do these fighters and Lapu Lapu have in common? They all learn the Pinoy fighting style of Arnis. Watch me flip out as I turn into the ultimate fighting machine here on Flipside. I am Lulene, so here you are. It's good as a best. <laughs> I'd rather use it as that. Seven, eight, nine. Traditionally known as Kali and sometimes referred to as Eskrima, Arnis is the mother of all Filipino martial arts. Three, four, five, Arnis has hundreds of forms, and here in the Olympics Taekwondo Training Center in Makati, I'm going to take a shot at this Pinoy art of fighting under the instruction of the living legend, Master Topher Rakesh. Master Topher is a well-known instructor of Bakbakan International. He teaches Bakbakan Kali Illustrissimo, a system based on Kali Illustrissimo, which is a form of Arnis that he learned under Grandmaster Antonio Tatang Illustrissimo in 1984. With Bakbakan International, he helps promote not only Arnis but also Filipino martial arts as a whole. Master Topher clearly is one of the most important figures in martial arts worldwide. I've been doing it since uh, 63, maybe 40 years ago. Wow. I just I just like martial arts. Yeah, like for the the thrill or just for the thrill, for the sports, for the self defense, for everything. Good exercise. Plus good exercise, but don't look at me, huh? <laughs> but because I after practicing we eat well, in a restaurant. I'm the That's same why. way. Trust me. Yeah. As Filipinos love to eat. So you know my metabolism, I'm already ready. That's why it's not that good. <gasps> Unlike you, your metabolism. You're young. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, what can you teach young girls like me, and how important is it um, to teach martial arts, particularly arnis? It's important because, who knows, one of these days you might use it. Right. Plus the exercise. Plus, you know, you're a Filipino. You, sh you should know your heritage, know your background. Right. You know, arnis is a Filipino martial arts. Right. And learn, I will. After all my homeland excursions, it's about time I take arms and find out where we Filipinos get our feisty personalities. we do the and forward. Okay, ready? one. Getting my footwork right is a cinch. One. I feel like I'm in dance class, except my hands are in girl fight position. But once that's done, I'm immediately given a weapon. This is actually one of the reasons why Arnis training is so unique. You learn with weapons first. Fighting with bare hands is developed later on, after one learns techniques of weaponry. The movements are one and the same, unlike other arts that have separate movements for weapon and empty hand combat. So, have you ever gotten, um, like, hurt in this process? Have you ever gotten, like, I don't know, in the attack, real like in real life? Oh yes, plenty of times already. Yeah? Yeah. Like when you were um, fighting or practicing with your son? Oh yes. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Like, like fingers, broken fingers. Because he gets really yeah. into it. Like out of nowhere he starts speeding up. Yeah. And then like he whacks you and then pokes you. Yeah. It doesn't hurt though? It hurts a little bit. But, okay. Uh, just don't think about it. But you it. have a high tolerance of pain. Yeah, correct. Right. <laughs> One, out there. One. Oh yeah, I'll definitely try not to think about it. No pain, no gain. And I'm sure Master Topher's son Bruce learned this early on. After all, since he was a baby, he's already been learning the moves from good old daddy. Bruce started really, really young. Kasi parang taong, ano yan eh. Instead of taong bahay, taong gym. Because I have my gym in the house, a small gym in our house. Because he's my assistant eh. He teaches uh, like Americans, uh, Filipino armed forces, like the soldiers. The U.S. Army Special Forces wrote a letter to the principal, I mean to the, I think, guidance of uh, LaSalle and said that it's important for Bruce to go 
it's crucial for Bruce to do a knife fighting demonstration for the AFP. Yeah, he's, he's, he's getting better. He can be better than me. It's both odd and cool learning an art of war from a kid three years younger than I am. But when you watch Cruz, you see why enthusiasts here and abroad are amazed with him. His skills are beyond his age, making him perfect for international demonstrations. And for making kids our age, see the beauty of mastering an art of school combat. For a first timer, she's very good. Right. I mean it, huh? Not only for the camera. He better mean it. But seriously, I think the knack for this Pinoy martial art comes naturally for me. I guess you can say it's in my blood. As for having fun, oh yeah, that is definitely in my blood. We Pinoys work hard, but we sure play hard too. And I'm on a roll here, so I'm just gonna keep on playing. But don't you guys go away, because flip side, we'll be right back. Wow, surrounding myself with all these sports has got me psyched. I must say, the whole Pinoy sports experience is as unique as our own team spirit. Discipline plays its role in what drives the Pinoy athlete to excel. Without it, strength takes a backseat. It takes a special drive to be able to master those moves. Determination is one thing, but discipline is the definite backbone of the Pinoy athlete. Sports is definitely a huge part of Pinoy life. I can't wait to teach them the games I learned to my friends back in LA. I'm sure they will love it. I'm Lelaine, and I'm sure I'll see you guys again next time here on Flipside.